John's throat was a little scratchy right before he went to bed. He took some cough syrup and went to bed early. He awoke early in the morning with a high fever and feeling awful. How can you go to bed feeling okay and wake up very sick? Some bacteria can divide every 20 minutes. This means that in just seven hours, one bacterium can generate two million bacteria. After one more hour, the number of bacteria will rise to 16 million. That's why we can quickly become ill when pathogenic microbes invade our bodies. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Asexual Reproduction. Asexual reproduction is just one way of how life is able to make copies of itself and continue to stay alive. Or as Dr. Malcolm says from Jurassic Park, life uh, finds a way. Asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction by which offspring arise from a single organism and inherit the genes of that parent only. Let's take a look at four types, fission, budding, fragmentation, and spores. Fission occurs in lower plants and bacteria, also in algae and protozoa. In this process, the cell divides after the DNA has divided. If the, the cell divides into two, it is called binary fission. The DNA or the nucleus of the mature cell divides first and then the cell divides into two daughter cells of almost the same size. The resulting cells contain identical genetic material as the parent cell. Budding. In some species, buds may be produced from almost any point of the body, but in many cases the budding is only found in specialized areas. The bud eventually develops into an organism duplicating the parent. Budding is characteristic of a few unicellular organisms like bacteria, yeast, and protozoa. However, few animals like the hydra reproduce by budding. Fragmentation is a form of cloning where an organism is split into fragments. The splitting may or not be intentional. Each of these fragments develop into mature, fully grown individuals that are a clone of the original organism. If the organism is split any further, the process is repeated. Fragmentation is seen in many organisms such as molds and worms, starfish, and planarian. Finally, spores. Many fungi develop spores through mitosis and are not fertilized. The spores are dropped to the ground and develop into a new fungi. If you'd like to know more about asexual reproduction, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.